Hey everyone, it's Brian, your honest mechanic. Today, we're looking into a topic that's been causing quite a stir among car owners, oil coming out of your exhaust. Now I know some of you might be thinking, oh no, my car's gonna explode, but hold on, don't panic just yet. We're here to break it down for you and give you the lowdown on what's really going on under the hood. First things first, let's get one thing straight. Oil coming out of your exhaust is not normal. It's like your car's way of telling you, hey, something's not right here, buddy. So, if you spot that telltale blue smoke or notice an oily residue on your exhaust tip, it's time to pay attention. Now you might be wondering, what the heck is causing this? Well, there are a few culprits that could be behind this oily mess. One of the most common reasons is worn out piston rings or valve seals. These little guys are supposed to keep the oil where it belongs, in the engine. But over time, they can start to wear down, allowing oil to sneak past them and make its way into the combustion chamber. And when that happens, the oil gets burned along with the fuel, creating that lovely oil and blue smoke you see coming out of your exhaust. But wait, there's more. If you've got damaged or worn out engine components like valve guides or cylinder walls, that can also lead to oil leaks. It's like your engine's version of a leaky faucet, except instead of dripping water, it's dripping oil into places it shouldn't be. And if you've got a turbocharger, a worn out seal can cause the same problem. Now let's talk about the importance of regular oil changes. I know, I know. It's one of those things that's easy to forget or put off, but trust me, skipping oil changes is like playing Russian roulette with your engine. When you don't change your oil regularly, it starts to break down and lose its viscosity. And when that happens, it's easier for the oil to find its way into places it shouldn't be, like your combustion chamber. On the flip side, overfilling your oil can also cause problems. I know it's tempting to add a little extra for good measure, but resist the urge. When you've got too much oil sloshing around in there, it can get sucked up into the combustion chamber and burned, leading to that dreaded blue smoke. Another potential culprit is a clogged PCV valve. This little valve is supposed to regulate the pressure in your engine's crankcase, but if it gets gunked up and stops working properly, pressure can build up and force oil into the combustion chamber. It's like your engine's version of a pressure cooker, except instead of delicious stew, you get oil in your exhaust. Last but not least, let's talk about head gasket failure. This one's a real doozy. If your head gasket decides to call it quits, it can allow oil and coolant to mix together in a diabolical cocktail. And when that happens, you guessed it. Oil can end up in your combustion chamber and eventually your exhaust. So what can you do about it? Well, the first step is to get your car to a trusted mechanic like yours truly as soon as possible. They'll be able to diagnose the problem and recommend the best course of action. Depending on the cause, you might be looking at anything from a simple fix, like replacing a PCV valve, to a more involved repair, like replacing piston rings or even a head gasket. But here's the thing. Ignoring the problem is only going to make it worse. The longer you let oil seep into places it shouldn't be, the more damage it can cause to your engine. We're talking reduced performance, increased emissions, and even potential damage to your catalytic converter and other exhaust components. And trust me, those repairs can get expensive real fast. So if you take away one thing from this video, let it be this. If you see oil coming out of your exhaust, don't ignore it. Get your car to a mechanic pronto and let them work their diagnostic magic. Your engine and your wallet will thank you in the long run. And hey, while you're here, don't forget to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button for more Honest Car Advice. I'm Brian from Honest Mechanic, and until next time...